Now, you might be curious to know if I make my living uh, as a singer. Well, there are very few singers or musicians who can ma make a living just doing their art. Most of the time, to make uh, steady money, you have to have something else on the side. And I had a lot of things on the side, especially growing up on Long Island, where there was uh, really nothing. And uh, see, when I graduated college, I wanted to teach philosophy in col in, uh, in the, at the college level. Can't teach it at the high school level. I don't have that in high school. But uh, well, after I graduated, I uh, I went on to graduate school, and I did about a semester and a half of philosophy, and I just realized that. It, it just wasn't for me. You know, it's... So I went out in, into the job world. And a lot of people think that there are no careers for uh, philosophy majors. But let me tell you, I found plenty of them on Long Island. I worked in a factory. I worked as a picketing guard. I worked in construction. I had this one job uh, working at changing tires. I was working in a garage that was uh, open at both ends, so the cars could go in and out. And I started this job in December. And uh, that, that cold wind, it, it just cut through you like, like a razor blade. And you couldn't wear any uh, coats because the coats got ruined by the, uh, the, the tires that you were constantly changing. So you had to wear these like denim you know, uh, jackets. Uh, and all kinds of you know sweaters underneath. Well, the day before I started the job, one of the guys told me the only way you're going to get to a day of this stuff is to do it drunk. So the night before I got to the, uh, I was supposed to start the job. I went out and I got plastered, and I started the job with a splitting hangover. And so, uh, since I was a new guy on the block, they sent me out to get some coffee. I had after two big, I'd say, pint-sized, you know, cups of coffee, the, the hangover went away. And uh, I did that job for a while. I did construction. While I was on the construction job, I got another idea for a song. And I would, um, you know, sing it to the guys. They'd be be working out there in, in, in the hot sun and. One of them would say, hey, I, I think it's about time for another song. And I made up this song about uh, the construction. Every time I got to the course, the guys would put, put down their trousers and they'd kick out with their feet like a chorus line. Now, the old boss was working, but he just, <laughs> he just they couldn't fathom that. And he'd take his hat off, he'd slap it on his uh, thigh, and he'd say, you know, I've been in this business 40 years. I've never seen the lights of this. He says... Got a bunch of guys who says, they don't want to lay block. All they want to do is sing and dance. I don't got a work crew. I got a goddamn chorus line. He'd look up in the sky and said, I'm coming, Elizabeth.